All right. Uh, in this video, um, previously we talked about this kind of old technique for smoothing motion. Uh, in this one, we're going to talk about the uh, smooth motion sop that uh, was introduced in 19.5 and just a little bit uh, about how this works. So uh, here I have um, some uh, animation that's uh, coming in, again, just from the uh, motion capture database. And you can see that there's quite a bit of noise there on the toe. So I uh, like to be able to smooth that out. So um, in order to use the smooth motion operator, I, I've got uh, this uh, motion clip um, to kind of get the animation uh, turned into uh, a sequence or one uh, all the different time steps into a single uh, frame of geometry. And then I'm feeding it into the uh, smooth motion operator. Uh, in this particular case, I'm um, operating on the translations and the rotations. Uh, I'm using the Butterworth filter. Um, and uh, there's some controls here for it. So there's a kind of cutoff frequency. Um, and you can manipulate that to kind of uh, control like high frequency versus low frequency noise and where that kind of threshold is. And then there's this order control, which is basically uh, controlling uh, the fall off of that filter. Um, so uh, you input these guys, and this is just uh, default settings here. And so you get, uh, it's much smoother there at the beginning. You don't have that kind of nasty wobble or it's certainly less pronounced. So if we template this, slide this, you can kind of, oh, sorry, I don't even have to do that. Here I just have them side by side and you can kind of see that the wobbling is, is greatly reduced. So um, that's uh, another option for um, smoothing the motion uh, as well. Um, yeah, uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, it takes a little getting used to in terms of uh, finding the right kind of cutoff frequency. Um, so you do have to play with it a little bit, and you know it's going to vary from clip to clip. Um, but uh, yeah, that uh, is another tool in your arsenal. All right. Uh, that's it for the smooth clips. In the next video, I'll talk about um, using the uh, animation that uh, the retargeted animation that we processed uh, in the previous videos um, to uh, set up uh, as a clip for your agent for your crowd sound.